All right, guys, so we're doing a low bald fade here. I know we do a lot of bald fades, but I think this is a good cut to learn because we're keeping it low. He slicks it back a lot of weight here. So, so far I put in a zero line and I took my number two guard. And what you want to do is kind of go in and come out with it because you don't want to dig up, especially it being low. Just kind of dig, kind of flick out like that. And then here we can start working our way up. No guard, open. And then here we got to keep our guidelines pretty tight. So quarter inch to a half inch. You don't want to go any higher than a half inch. Sometimes when you get behind the ear, it's kind of tough. So use your corners and set that guideline in. I'm only gonna show you guys half of the haircut because it's basically the same techniques on the other side. Now what I like to do is I'll go ahead and knock this line out. So close your lever halfway, use your corners. And make sure you lay your clipper flat. Don't dig in, lay it flat. And that'll help. And use your corners. When you use your corners, you're not as committed. The tricky part is getting behind the ears. So. And I use a brush instead of a comb, even though he's got straight hair, it, it brushes away all the excess hair. Now I'm still kind of learning this client's hair. It's my second time cutting you, right? Second time. So technically they say it takes a barber three times to start understanding how a client's hair grows. And, you know, a lot of clients don't understand that. They think you should, you know, get it first try, which rightfully so. I mean, they're coming to a barber shop. They deserve a clean haircut. All right, now next step is your one guard open. Same process as everything. Like I've said before, find a process and stick with it. It doesn't matter what the hair texture is, anything like that. So with this one guard, you kind of want to still flick out as you're going up. Now close the one guard in this line here. We're gonna soften it because we're gonna come back and use the half guard. And here, use your corners again just to soften. It might look like I'm using the full blade, but I'm really only using corners. Now this is why I love wall, because you can do the one and a half, and this is, this is where we try to get it blended in to the two. You want to kind of flick out. We're going to close it, use your corners, flick out again. We're just kind of touching everything up. Now let me show you the side angle of this haircut. You see how it kind of comes out? That's what you kind of want. Now we'll go back in with shear over comb or clipper over comb. And you can kind of soften this edge up with that. But for right now, that's kind of what we're, what we got going on. All right, now this is what's gonna put the haircut all together. It's the half guard. Start with the lever halfway open. Use your corners and we're trying to take this line out. Kind of flick, flick out. Open it up a little bit, flick out. Same thing up here, close it a little bit, 
just using the corners. Now behind the ear again, it's kind of tricky. So don't rush it. This cut, this, this is one of the more difficult haircuts because you got to keep everything low. You don't have a lot of room for air. Here I'm just touching things up, detailing. And if while you're trying to take a line out, you put a line in, it's okay. You can take it back out. You want to grab the one guard. But you know, you just have to be careful with chasing lines. Meaning, trying to take a line out, you put one in, you try to take that one out, you put another one in, and you keep getting higher and higher. So a lot of it's lever play. Play with the lever. A lot of clients with this hair texture, they have high and low spots, meaning this area is gonna be lower. Ultimately, it makes it look darker. That's when you kind of got to just play with the lever, use your corners. And the fade's basically done for the most part. We're just going to detail and get rid of some low spots. I don't know how it is. So even this is the one guard, but if you follow the shape of the head, you won't set any lines or anything. And here I'm not sorry, I'm not digging in. I'm going with the shape. Again you want to use the corners. Grab our two guard and kind of get rid of some of this weight back here. And once you get the foundation to the fade done, you can go back in and really take care of it. That's basically it. Let's go ahead and grab our shear over comb and try to clean everything else up. Let me use a blue comb so you guys can kind of see the hair. All right, so there's quite a bit of hair there. So curve your comb out. Let me show you guys. <laughs> so kind of curve it with the cut. You might not take off much initially, but kind of take a little bit out of time. You can always take more hair off, you can't put any back on. Like I said, we want to soften this kind of edge right here. Sorry, buddy. He's got some gel in his hair, so it's kind of... Yeah. 
All right, once you kind of soften up the edge, we're gonna go back in one more time with the two guard. Just clean stuff up. And the light's kind of bad on this angle, so it might be hard to, to really see the cut. <laughs> but at the end, I'll show you a different angle where you can see better. So that's basically that side. Check in the mirror, make sure everything looks good. Looks good. And I'll show you a good angle and light. We still have some work to do kind of up here. But I just wanted to show you, you know, to keep it low. You gotta angle it out, use your corners. And it's a lot of technique, a lot of repetition. So don't get discouraged if it's hard to do initially. But thanks for watching, guys.